I want to join their team, I want to live their lives, I want to be a ranger. So this is baby Joe, who's the sole survivor of the tragic poisoning events back in 2013. It's my first day of boot camp tomorrow. Hello okay? <laughs> Yeah. You have a mask, you have a group. Stay there, little fella. Oh, okay. What does this what snake weigh? Here she is. This is Warrior and she's a pangolin. You hold the head, yeah? No, and I, I get the tail, you take the head. Good games, over. So, now what? With boot camp done, it's time for me to head out into the wilds of Borneo and join up with the wildlife rescue unit in the field. I'm leaving the safety of Lokawi Wildlife Park behind and heading across Sabah to the wildlife rescue unit's east coast base of operations, Sepalok. With a number of rescue and rehabilitation centres on the site, the WRU are on call here 24-7. Within the grounds of Sepalok is one centre dedicated to the care and recovery of one of Borneo's most charismatic species, the sun bear. Bornean sun bears are the smallest member of the bear family and perhaps the cutest. But don't let their cuddly exterior fool you. Sun bears possess long, sharp claws, which help them to climb high up into the canopy. Once amongst the trees, they use their 10-inch tongue to feast on bugs, fruit, and of course, honey. Here at the appropriately named Bornean Sun Bear Conservation Centre, rescued bears are given a second chance. Bornean Sun Bear Conservation Centre uh, was established in 2008 and all of the bears that we have at our centres are all rescued sun bears. People have been keeping you know, them as legal pets before they are sent here. Sun bears is still the least known bear in the world. So there's lots of education, information that we need to deliver to the public. For my first assignment out of boot camp, I'll be trying to keep up with senior vet Dr. Paki. You're wearing the exact same. So they recognise the logo? They, they know this t-shirt, they know it means trouble for them. Today, the time has come for Sigalung, one of the resident bears, to undergo his annual medical check. So this is Sigalong. You can see it's a male. Yeah. Uh, estimated about eight years old. And what are we going to do with him? So the first thing we will do is based on his previous body weight, we will come up with a concentration of a drug. But how do you check a wild sun bear? So now let's go and prepare the dart without stressing him too much. How quickly does the sedative take effect? It takes about seven minutes more or less with every animal. In order to correctly measure the dose of sedative, Dr. Pucky must estimate Sigalung's current weight. How much do you think he weighs now? What do you think? He was 35 kilos a year I ago? I think he should be about 38. No, no, more. I'm going 40. 40. That's a safe bet. OK. Where did most of these bears come from? Most of them, actually all of them, were all confiscated or kept as pets. How many do we have currently? 38. 38? 38. How, 38. How, how do people keep a bear as a pet? Uh, when they're young, most animals, they're very cute. I think that's why they keep it. And also, the thing is, I think the whole practice of keeping wildlife shows 
I think for some people it feels that they, it shows that they are somehow better than another in a, in a community. Luckily, the, the centre and you know with the department we have gone and confiscated most of these animals. Are there big fines if people get caught with some of Maximum 50,000 penalty or jail term or both. 50,000? Yes. Ringgit? Yes. It's a lot of money. Sedative prepared, we were ready to go. Let's go and start a samba. This routine procedure may look stressful for the bear, but it is the safest way to ensure these animals get the professional medical analysis they need. Safely sedated, it was time to have a closer look at Zigalong. Definitely 40 kilos. 42.6 kilos. With a well-fed sun bear on the operating table, the team wasted no time in collecting data. These measurements allow the team to check Sigalung is growing well. But I wasn't here just to observe. So now you're going to help me. I'm going to take collect samples. So I'm going to go for this blood vessel that I can feel. Taking blood will reveal if Sigalung has any illnesses that need attention. Open it. Twist. Faster. Okay, successful? Yes. You're doing a good job, Bertie. Make sure the IV is right Is this bear a candidate to be released? Uh, Sigalo, probably not, because he has been in captivity for a long time. He probably won't be able to climb because one of the very important surviving skills for the bears is climate tree. And climbing a tree, you have to start from little. Does that mean essentially that any bear that's kept as a pet will therefore never be able to be released into the wild? Something like that. And then, of course, you know, different individuals perform differently. But most of the time, the one that has been kept as pets for the first few years probably cannot be released from into the wild. Sadly, like the Bonaean gibbon and slow loris, some bears, particularly the infants, are targeted for the illegal pet trade. Whilst as cubs they might seem cute, sun bears are dangerous wild animals. Yeah, and people are very naive thinking that if they bottle fed a baby cub, it will turn into a chihuahua. Sorry, it's not going to happen. With time ticking and the drugs wearing off, we needed to wrap up and get Sigalung back into his enclosure as soon as possible. Isn't he going to wake up soon? Come, 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 quickly. You see, he's getting up already, yeah? So quickly. How will he be when he wakes up? Will he be like groggy or will he be angry? The first reaction is going to get his he, he, he gets this fidgety thing around, so that will increase in a while. Then he will actually relax. Lifting the bear by his loose skin is the safest way to carry him and doesn't cause any harm. So you can see now he's waking up pretty fast. He could be in another two hours, or he could be until the end of the day. So we leave him alone, come and check him in, in a bit, and I think, yeah, that's it. So okay. good job, I think you did pretty well. Uh, first time experience with the sun bears. I think Six out of 10? Yeah, definitely. Okay, that's All not too Thanks to the Wildlife Rescue Unit and the team at the Bornean Sun Bear Conservation Center, former captive bears like Sigalo are being given a second chance at happy life. While sadly many rescued bears may not be able to be released back into the wild, here at BSBCC they can spend their days foraging and playing in a semi-wild location. I'm, I'm here to help. Yeah. Tell me what, what, what can I do? 